Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the Dream Harrier. My name is Snake Man. I'm the captain of the Dream Harrier, the ship that flies through gaming space. Uh, real quick, I need to thank Steel Flight 82. Thank you for following. Welcome aboard. And welcome aboard Worlds of Rogue, Berserk X33, Piff, and everyone out there. Uh, yeah, I was late today. I took a quick shower and then I had something in my left eye, probably an eyelash. I, I got it out. <laughs> but man, it uh, really stung. And I, that's why we don't have the eye tracking today. I'm just wearing glasses, so. Uh, yeah, auto blink. This should be on. I'm like looking at him, like, are you gonna blink? There he goes. <laughs> but welcome! We today are going to look at another System SATCOM game. Now, you might know System SATCOM for the Mansion of Hidden Souls. Mansion of Hidden Souls, those are two different games. The the makes the difference. Uh, <laughs> Lunacy, Running Runners uh, High, and... Uh, oh, and R question mark MJ, the Mystery Hospital. A game we streamed last year in the part of our Spooktober. This is Iblard, La Puta... No Kadu Karumachi. Um, this is based on the works of a artist, a famous artist in Japan, Naohisa Inoue. Um, he drew a whole like fantastical world that he called Iblard. All his most of his illustrations take place in Iblard and cover different aspects of it. And this game is like an excuse to go explore it. It was uh, published by TV Asahi, I think. So, um, or Asashi? I always forget. Asahi is the beer. Asashi is the TV channel. So it was a very, like, low-key published game. Uh, Iblard. Um, like I said, I, I, I mostly know it as the, the fantasy works of Nahiso Inoue. Um, oh, hello, DCD, by the way. You might know it from uh, Whisper in the Heart, which is... A, uh, a Studio Ghibli movie that I actually haven't I haven't seen, uh, but it, he was the background artist, and the world of Whisper in the Heart is very much inspired by Iblard. So it could be that. Now I do need to uh, address something. I haven't played this game, but based on the translation notes, <laughs> egg. We love egg here. Our big egg hands. Um, there is supposed to be some severe flashing, according to the translation notes. I don't know what that entails, I don't know when it happens, so if that's something that's gonna upset you, if you're, you know, sensitive to that kind of thing, maybe this isn't the stream, um, because, like I said, I'm not gonna know when it's gonna happen, so I can't do any proper warnings for it. Um, with that said, let's get into it. So I did post a little thing on, uh... <laughs> Hello, Cameron. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting that one. <laughs> post sensitivity and epilepsy warning, proceed with caution. See, even the translators are like, hey, watch out. Oh, it is Asahi. <laughs> Asaha? Yo, that's Crush 40? If you beg or if you borrow? Oh, that's, um, that's Live and Learn, I guess. This was translated in August of last year. Country painted in both legend and vibrant greenery. This land of ceaseless wonder is home to many a magician. Its market is lined with mysterious trinkets. And the skies are sprinkled with floating islands or Laputa of all sizes. Laputa. The Laputa, however, uh, hover as if know, something strange, however, is about to befall this magical, peaceful land. Could it be that the hatching of a new Laputa is upon us? Yeah, last year is in 2022. So this is a fairly new translation. Niblard, the city of Hatching Laputa. Uh, so this background piece is called... Oh, I just had it. Shoot, 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 shoot. 
It's in the co-host post. Let me link that real quick if you want a quick... Ba -ba 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 -ba. This one's called Upper Draft. But yeah, I made a little post about it with some of the artwork. Ibarado. As well as the link to the translation patch. Um, you can also find Iblard, the artwork of Iblard uh, on this website. This is an official website of the artist. So we might be going to that website to find the art and learn a little bit more about where we are in Iblard. Maybe. <laughs> I'm going to reset my face tracking a little bit so it isn't so... Turned. Oh, I can't do that from here. I don't have the hotkey anymore. There we go. Okay, I'm assuming that's like invert controls. So this is a first-person adventure game. But it's a lot different from the normal systems.com stuff. And we start in the real world, our world. Our boring drab world. Not again. No matter how hard I tend to these plants, they all die. This is an adventure game. A first-person adventure. A Laputa nest. Illustrated here is the change in a Laputa's prince appearance. Akin to a snake molting its skin in a nest of cloud and star. The shells discarded by the Laputa hold mysterious powers that simulate plant growth. Oh, stimulate. Blech. Or so they say, here in the Blard. A Laputa shell? If only such a thing existed. She is so system sack on. Look at that frog guy. Wait, aren't those characters from Grandpa's storybook? But how? Look, look, here it is. Yes, we found it. What on earth was that? They dropped this. And we're off! Get in the worm train. And with that, I began my journey through Iblard. So yeah, this game has impeccable design. <laughs> Just look at it. Next stop, Sienna Station. So I always wanted to play this because it looks like no other PS1 game. Here we are. Great, now where do I go? There's another station over there. So this game is a first person, like... 
like you walk around. This is very different from System Satcom's normal stuff where they uh, normally uh, have kind of like pre-rendered FMVs that you kind of travel between. The Sienna Station is an engine shed where all out-of-service cars go. Passengers cannot board here. Please use the station across the river in central Iblard instead. The Station Master. We got some trees in our way. We'll get a map. <laughs> I took the area map. So now do I pause? Okay, so this is my inventory. Okay, so it doesn't tell us where we are, but I can get an idea. There are little, like, uh, things to check out, like that tree. And then that should be a dead end. Yeah. That thing. Go look at it. Whoa, what's that thing? So we have, like, a thing in the upper... Upper right? And I wonder if that's health. Yeah, is that a squid? Bye. Okay, so we're at this tree. Let's see. Anything else that looks interesting? So we can go to the other station, it looks like, from here. There's a building with an arrow. I could try going to. Uh, I already forgot. <laughs> I forgot which way we're, we are. All right, so I got out and I took a left, so I need to wrap around. Follow the floating stones, they say. So yeah, this is going to just be a chill stream. We're just going to enjoy the world. What is that noise? Whoa, cool. Looks like they're searching. Are they searching for me? Or something else? Wish you could turn faster. My only, uh... Wait, did I get turned around because of that cutscene? I think I did. I recovered health. Okay, so that is health. And then there's stairs here. Wait, is this one way? No, okay. They're just stairs for some reason. Where are you? Oh, I can push this. There's a little house here. Can't seem to interact with it, though. Floating objects and species of all sorts are common to the world of Iblard. Uh, cephalopods such as cuttlefish or squids often drift 
through the air in families. In rare instances, you may even run into a parent who mistook, mistook stones or the like for their young. There's more health. I guess I can leave that, right? In case I need it. There's that building we're trying to get to. Does this have analog control? No. I guess 97 is a little early, right? I think 98 is the year for analog control. Alright, they're out. Ah, mole friend. Thank goodness those blasted Takatsun airships are gone, although I've no doubt they're planning a comeback. Ah, who are you? You're not from this land, are you? No, you followed us here from that city. Oh, this won't do. That rift in space-time has long since closed up. I traveled through space-time? Yes, you followed us to Iblard from your world. Are we in Iblard right now? You've heard of Iblard? Yes, but I never knew it really existed. It's just like Grandpa's storybook. That doesn't make sense. Your grandfather came to Iblard and went back home? Impossible. You say that like there's no way for me to do the same. I hate to tell you this, but that is what I'm saying. You're kidding. Let me think. To find another rift in space-time, your only hope is to find a Laputa as it hatches. A Laputa? As it hatches? That's when a new floating island is born, right? Uh-oh. Just look at the time. I have other preparations to wait. To make. Where, where does the Laputa hatch? Laputa. You is Shapalo, and you'll have to ask a magician for a better answer to that. Here, this will get you to the next station. My friend, Melkinso, lives on a pond down the way. He'll be happy to help you with your uh, Lapida problem. Good luck. Oh yeah, System Satcom is amazing. Uh, ever since Fire Rock... We got a boomerang as well? <laughs> Hello, farmsteads. This is my first time in, uh, Iblard. Please be gentle with me. I took the wooden boomerang. Can it knock that crystal from the tree? I didn't even notice a crystal in the tree. Uh, mostly because I can't look up, right? I got strafe. That gets rid of the HUD. Maybe there's a look up. No. Oh, we'll go back to that tree. So yeah, this game is like I mentioned earlier is based on the uh, artwork of Nahisa Old R2. I'm trying. R2 just makes the HUD go away, and L2 doesn't seem to do anything. Said R1 and L1 strafe. I think both doesn't seem to do it either. Okay, we can't get through this river. Oh, there it is. It is L2 plus uh, triangle with X being down. Okay. Interesting. Hello, Gridra. Yeah, the map showed the boomerang, which is why I wanted to come here. I didn't realize there'd be a mole person. And I think uh, it also showed a frog. Yep. Real pass. Area map. Yeah, it shows the boomerang, and then it shows that river, but we're not strong enough. And then it shows the random stairs and that little, like, little house 
There's a part of the map that's like... No, I guess it's not inaccessible. That's just like the blank parts. Um, you mentioned lake, which might be that left part. Well, it looks like an arrow in here. I didn't realize it was boomerang. I bet you didn't realize it was boomerang until we got it. <laughs> so is that what it wanted me to do? I guess I did notice that, but I didn't really think about it because it was health. Hmm. You can comment all you like. Ah! There's no spoily. Oh. I thought I interacted with that before. It didn't seem to do it. <laughs> wonder what I did. Is there a building like that on the map? Oh, I wonder if that's that circle further ahead. Can we get through the trees? Like, is there now shortcuts? With my boomerang. With my magic boomerang, it stops time until, well, except for me, until it come, until I catch it. Some weird British TV movie. Should I get all the crystals? I mean, it just seems like health. Ooh, you can go fast if you rub against the wall of strafing. Okay, maybe not that fast. I'm just gonna go get this crystal. It feels weird to leave it behind. <laughs> yeah, so now he said, you know, he, they did the... They made this, like, fantasy world in their artwork called Iblard, and it inspired the Studio Ghibli movie, at least... This, the, the Whisper of the Heart is based on a book, but, like, the locations that are in the Ghibli version and, the you know, the artwork is all inspired by Iblard. And now I can look at that tree. Take that. Maybe we can find our squid friend. I've never watched Whisper of the Heart. I think I've seen parts of the Cat Came Home or whatever, the spinoff. But that has nothing to do with Iblard or Nalhisa. Anything in the tree? No. The Cat Returns. Cat Came Home is something different, and I don't remember what that is. More health. Eat all the health so then when I actually need it, I won't have it. <laughs> Passed by already. What is that thing stuck in the tree? It looks like a banana. Oh, banana. I took the moonstone. No, banana. My friend is up here. Hey. I swear the heart is relatable. I'll have to look at it. Uh, supposedly there's also a, a Studio Ghibli sh uh, short film that only plays in the museum that also features now he's a, you know, he's art and world. I see. So we did turn that building. So we solved the puzzle without knowing we needed to solve a puzzle. Video games, am I right? Oh, ominous music. Origins of the beats to study and relax to pick. <laughs> oh, you mean the picture that's uh, made famous by... 
uh, Rocket League, right? I, I saw someone stream Rocket League and they have this whole like lo-fi beats thing that they're they're into. And it just it has the picture. It's really weird. <laughs> Why is this moon painted on this altar? I don't know. <laughs> it was really weird. I don't know anything about Rocket League. I do know you put the banana in the banana. Uh-oh. <laughs> Are they coming for me? Wait, are they the bridge? Okay, they're the bridge. Oh, that's cute. Are you gonna move? You still hurt me? Okay. <laughs> Wee. Gimme. I recovered health. You did. We solved our first puzzle, maybe. I can't board to file a rail pass. Just shove that in there. And we're off. There we go, that's our first puzzle. Onward to Iblard. We're just kind of on the outskirts right now. Next stop, the Forest Railway. Now loading, now loading, now loading. Here, so this is like the first footage I ever saw of this game was here. This is like a few years back. And I've always kept this this on like a list. What do you got for an altar here? What can I use here? Well, I haven't grabbed anything, so... Yeah, there's a, a really good YouTube channel that has, like, really obscure PS1 games. It's a Japanese channel, and they make, like, these little lists, and I think that's where I first saw the game. Is that a crank? I mean, it's a valve, but it's almost like a crank in survival horror. I took the valve. What are you? Another map. Gimme. In a cave. Let's see what this looks like. So we are at the train station. That's weird. I thought it would uh, mention the. Oh no! The, the to the north is the other train station. I see. We are at the south end. That's where we arrived. That's the uh, the altar. Uh, there's a fish. Uh, an upside down L. <laughs> okay. Let's go. I did not. I have to actually look it up because um, I don't know it off the top of my head. Let me see if it's because I keep a playlist of it. Playlists. Where is it? Not there, not there. Let me go to the library and then my playlist, right? That's... Sorry, one sec. <laughs> oh, here we go. 
Oh god, that's loud. <laughs> it ought to play the video. Here you go. The Soft Space Laboratory. Have fun digging through that. Very good YouTube channel for PS1 stuff, and I guess all sorts of stuff now. I think they've... I see bats. And I don't have a Z target. I do have a boomerang. Are you aesthetic bats? Also, how do you save in this game? <laughs> That's another thing I don't know. This bridge looks like it wants to fall. Ow, ow. They were not aesthetic bats. So we need to find a way to turn that. There was like a hole. There's health down there. Okay, that's how you can get back up if you fell down. But I don't think I have anything to solve a puzzle yet, so... Let's just keep going. There's a boar. Goodbye, boar! <laughs> I'm so sorry. He startled me. Bonk. Yeah, you're good farmsteads. Like I said, it's a Japanese YouTube channel, so I wasn't quite... I love the way they bounce off into the void. So we're on the north path. There's something. Okay. Just wanted to look at this grass. I got startled by a boar. You have a shapely statue. Why does Coho's not have a search function? I don't know. Don't think I've ever wanted to search on Coho's. We have the valve. I guess we'll grab this. The statue shows the red valve, like, up left, and then the blue valve down. I guess I gotta... ...match that. I have no idea, Internet Friend. I mean, I think it does, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe you have to be logged in? Welcome back, internet friend. I want to thank you so much for that uh, artwork. It was really nice. <laughs> You're looking right at it. Good. Okay, so we, we made the water flow. Probably into that cave. Yeah, it was really excellent. <laughs> So I think this is our stop, or our tram. The tram can take me to the next station. But I probably need something. Bonk. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> sorry, boar. Let's see what that water did. Well, I hear the water. It would be nice to get rid of these, uh... These bats. There's one. Okay, I mean... I mean, it's not the easiest thing in this game. <laughs> you hold L2 and you hit triangle to look up and...
I just leave them? They hurt me last time. Yeah, I think you have to be logged in for the search. I like Coast. No. Whatever. Oh, he's stuck. Get this. They might just be spawning new bats for all I know. <laughs> Alright, what's happening here? Oh, a turtle! Hey! What's up? Aww. You ever seen aggressive turtles? Like, they will, like, bop you in the shoes. Okay, turtle. That's enough. <laughs> I don't have it in me to bonk the turtle. Oh, turtle. Turtle? What I want from co-host is to not log me out of co-host on my phone like every five minutes. It's only on the phone. It's only when I, I think I have it like set as its own like app. Like make a website into an app kind of thing. Stop bullying me, turtle. What did I do? Okay, I didn't turn the... Thing. Uh, <laughs> turtle bully me. And now they're both down. Okay, I think I did something up top. Also, hello, Muir. Okay, I grew. I think we didn't get to see it because I was being bullied by the turtle, but I grew the plants and that pushed up the stones here. So now we have a path. We'll give another shot killing these. <laughs> Bonk. So anyone big fans of the artist? Uh, Nahisa Inoi? I know it's pretty obscure. Let's check a look at our map. So, to the right is some things. So, let's go there first. Some shapes. Yeah, this game is amazing looking. Look at this forest. I'm so happy to be finally playing it. I've been holding off for a while. Letting other people stream it and, you know, I have not been watching it. I've just been waiting. Oh, that that needs a moonstone. Hello, Fox. You gonna make fun of me? Bergalad ahead. Sorry, I've been solving things with my boomerang, so... It only makes sense. Yeah, I, like I said, I hadn't seen Whisper of the Heart. Uh, it's it's not a Miyazaki film. It's um, it was the director that he wanted to to basically take over his, his all his filming, uh, uh, like all his directorial stuff. But then, I think then he passed away, right? Yeah. So Whisper of the Heart, the background art and like the design of like. The world is by this artist, Nahisa Inoue. Uh. 
<laughs> I love the way these things animate. Give me my banana. Why did my phone go off? Who did this? Who dares summon me? There's a different stream going live. <laughs> There's health there. A hole there. I'm gonna ignore the hole for now? I don't know. I thought maybe the hole is where they came from? Yeah, it looks like it's where it comes like Okay, hole's just bad. Hole bad. Huh. I can get that health, I guess. Look, it's called, uh, we save time, you know? We get to see our turtle friend again. <laughs> I recovered health. Now, stop, stop, turtle. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> now it's stuck against the wall. Okay, he's okay. He's okay, folks. He's okay. <laughs> he took it like a champ. So we have our Moonstone, so we can go over here to Bargalad. <laughs> Hello, legendary anime Japan fan, too. God of Retro Japan only gamer here. <laughs> we do play a lot of Japan only games, like Mystery Hospital, this, um... We played some PC Engine translations before the end of the year, like Owie Blink and... Uh, Dragon Egg. Burgalad ahead. Banana. I mean, it's very much that, like, Japanese adventure game of, like, go find thing, put thing in thing. Well, this brought us to something new. health. There's a lizard. Oh my god, look at this lizard. No, I'm gonna get you. I wanted to catch him. He's not catchable. You can eat that butterfly? That'd be so cool if you did. Oh, there's the, there's the fox. Oh, hello. That's quite the collection. I have like a whole bunch of Famicom and PC Engine games and a decent amount of PS1 imports. I didn't need to hit them. <laughs> I don't speak the forest language, was the saying. Oh. They gave me what I needed. I took the real pass. Thank you. Thank you, giant bushman. What else we got? It's broken. Will it ever run again? What was it? I guess it's one of the train cars or a flying tram. Okay, World's of Rogue, can, did, can you translate it? Nothing stands out. You sure? I mean, it's a rock. With a big crack in it. 
feel like that stands out a bit. So we have our rail pass, but... I guess that's the only thing we have besides the map. Um, we got the moonstone from the fish. We are currently on the uh, what, uh, east part of the map. With the crash thing in the boulder. The altar is at the beginning of the map. Do we take the rail pass to the altar, I wonder? It didn't look like there was a slot for the tram car. You this to go hell? What? I know you need to check your translation. He's obviously a very nice fellow. <laughs> Not too late. Um, so that's the tram. Let's go back to the beginning, because it feels like there's something we have to put in that altar. I also solved the puzzle by the old-fashioned tactic of talk to the person multiple times, because these games love doing that. <laughs> Check the same thing a couple times. Maybe this is save? No. Oh, I'm so sorry about looking at that. <laughs> but I did give the warning. <laughs> what can I use here? Okay, maybe I'm in the spot now. What can I use here? Well, I don't have it. This game has Deep Labyrinth vibes. I'm not familiar with Deep Labyrinth. What is that? Yeah, I know this is where we started on this map. I just... That altar seems funny. Seems fishy. Maybe we come back here. There is that rock that has... something. So this is like Kingsfield, except it's not about combat. It's just about exploring this fantastical world. And I think there's something to be said about how amazing that is. Clunk. Kingsfield for tired people. Yeah, but I want to be tired, especially after the last couple of games. Whoa, you can't be asking people that. Okay, that's where we solved the water issue. I guess I'll use my rail pass. I guess we're out. Away! <laughs> yeah, maybe come back here. Still don't know how to save. Next stop, Quiet Forest. So red. Okay, bye. Oh, I love this music. Oh yeah, this is the one thing I knew about this game is that there's cute dinosaurs in the game. Excited to meet cute dinosaurs. What's over here? I didn't mean to startle you. I see you. 
Hi. <laughs> no, I want It's a wooden table. Dinosaurs were just here. Aw. I'm sorry, I scared you. Is this your house? You live here? You live like this? I just noticed that I haven't looked at a painting in a while. <laughs> Last level didn't really have any. Okay, so we have another one of these that we have to turn. We haven't had the map yet, so... Another watermelon. Another that to turn. reason this house had a door but just the one. Oh god oh it's our boy from the artwork and a mezu mezuzo hello you're hurting me Oh, this is a one-way gate. Oh, there's a... No, that's just a hole. A window, if you will. Yeah, I believe uh, in the artwork it mentions that people are afraid of it because it can take powers away from people. I guess we're just gonna run past you. Oh, if, I, if doors are one-way, then we gotta be careful about that. I guess we'll grab this. Yeah, I tried to make it, uh, in the intro I described that there would be flashing. As well as, uh... I got it up there on the top and in the stream description. So hopefully, you know, you're all taking good care of yourself. If, if... I can't say that's the last of that. Okay, that turned that. There he is. Hey, I posted this picture. The Megazo are considered some of the strangest fairy beings in Iblard. It is said that any magician or singer who encounters one loses the will to perform. Countless theories exist to explain the Megazo, but only a wise few know their true nature. Children often chase them away with brooms. Aw. He's just a sad elephant. Who maybe sucks the life force out of you, I don't know. <laughs> So now we have a way to get back. Is he blocking this path? Yeah, I think he is. Okay. I tried the boomerang. He didn't. He wasn't interested. <laughs> also, he's too cute to hit. Now that's a broom. I took the broom. Okay, I like the broom action. Can I go back to the boomerang ever? Ever? Yeah, okay, it's up there. How do I? Okay. I will sweep you away. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's what the artist wanted. We got to this watermelon, which maybe we can make peace with the dinosaurs? I took the melon. Catch my heart, berry melon. Berry melon, yay! 
catch my heart. Very melon. Let's see what was on the other side of this, but I think it was just the way back. Because that door is one way. But that's the one way door. And that's the melon. This is like peak system SATCOM. I, I can't believe they're not around. Are they still around? I actually don't know. I bring, I bring Waller Melon. Yeah, <laughs> it's got that, uh, that Kingsfield. Hey, you like my watermelon? I gave you a watermelon. Where'd all your friends go? I like that I just like shoved all the old watermelon off of the table. Okay, we still haven't solved this one. Yeah, let's go the other path, I guess. I'm sure they'll be back. Maybe I gotta give them time. Especially because that one's spy on me. I've got a broom. This is so cute. How do they make games so cute this at this time and day? Okay, so that fixed that one. Let's see what's over here. Oh, a map. So that's where we got the broom. Uh, the center of the map is where we put the melon. We're currently in the upper right. So we need to find a path to get to the tram as well as a tram uh, pass, rail pass. Yeah, that was that table. Is this where you live? Oh, oh, oh. Did you take my broom? I guess the broom was one time use. I wasn't paying attention to when we, uh, we swept our friend the elephant up. Alright, so he's upset with us. I get it. <laughs> I recovered health. Apparently System Sidecon sort of exists, but they've been exclusively an electronics company. Yeah, that, that's a shame. I wonder if the, the people that worked on the games and stuff uh, made it to other companies. <laughs> this is their most polished game. I mean, it's really good so far. I'm still working through all my system SATCOM games to find out. I've got Runner's High somewhere. Like, I actually have that on CD. Oop. Where'd my dinosaur friend go? That's the real car. You can also get into this house finally. There's health there. All 15 frames of action.
the dinosaurs all came together. What can we learn about them? While dinosaurs in this forest are timid, you mustn't get too close unless one approaches you in a friendly manner. Feel free to either observe them from inside the huts or leave fruit out for them. Careless or brash movements around the dinosaur young would likely upset their mother. Okay. So we should be able to go get that real pass now. Oh, the mom is the mom is up there watching, I think. I'm not going to throw a boomerang. They're so cute. And also, they seem immune to it. At least the one by the door did. Now heading to Malkinso's Pond. So that was the frog guy, I think. And that's who the mole told me to go ask about how to get out. So I might need to stealth past them. Or maybe they're cool with me. Y'all cool with me? I'll check if they're cool with me after I get this thing. <laughs> oh, thank you, Cameron. Let me do that. I got my water bottle back. But I did kind of forget to fill it. So I might have to go around Can the you way. you take the pressure of an imminent victory? No pressure here, Stadler. Just some good feel. I will take your blue stone. rub my face against every invisible wall in the world. <laughs> Made all that watermelon. Hello. <laughs> they're very cool of us. They are so cool, they're gonna let us just walk right through them. I actually hit the boomerang, but I didn't mean to. I meant to look up. We cool? We're cool. She is probably like the one making the noise to say, hey, beat it. Oh, there's Mama. Mama have a gift for us? I took the grand map. We have a grand map. Thanks, Mama. Hi. I wonder if that means we have a map for every area now. The grand map. Ooh, okay, it's showing us our path through Iblard. We are currently in the quiet forest. So maybe there is some backtracking later on. Yeah, I don't know how long this game is. I mean, we're getting through areas pretty quickly. Let's just have a nice adventure. My eye is still bothering me just a little bit. Next stop, the pond. Milk and So's pond. Oh, now we have the map. We can see it, like our location. What a video game.
Got a little tree over here. Tram is gone. Bye, Tram. And we got a waterfall. Ah, cool. It's a pond. Shopolo said his friend lives here. That's health. tricked now we're in the <laughs> now we're in Kingsfield there's nothing beneath the soil there's health over here another broom can't seem to push these maybe Okay, these rocks are stuck. There is a... It looks like a passageway on the other side. Let's keep that in mind. If there's a broom, that means there might be another elephant. And a boulder. Oh my gosh. This is so nice. Where are you? Oh, you're cute. Everyone, everyone is friend shaped. Then he dogged them all. <laughs> okay, so we fell down there, and that's where the broom is. Um, that's the boulder. We're in the fish tunnel. Okay, pretty simple. And then there was a room over here. Some kind of puzzle room. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Where are they? So, you have a big health bar, but you can't get generated. So... It wasn't a puzzle at all. It was a surprise trap to kill me. Is this game auto-saving? It's not something you'd see on the PS1 all that often. Yeah, I still haven't ran into a, a save option. And I have my uh I have my pocket stations in the PlayStation. They usually blink red if they're being accessed. No more bats! Okay, but I did have to do that because uh, that happened. Yeah. My greed and curiosity paid off. I don't trust you. I might go check the other thing and there'll be more bats. So I, I want to take care of you. <laughs> Clunk. I have recovered health. Aha, key. Oh, how, how do you save just in case? I went to the select button. You know, just in case something happens. It'd be nice to know. Ah! 
Okay, that time my greed and curiosity did not pay off. You have to, like, quit out and save any options. Oh, okay. Scary. I got a key, and I assume this goes to the boulder. Strike. Not really. I I, I left the I left the seven ten. Don't worry about that. I took the broom. Cool rock. This game has lots of cool rocks and stones, but also just aesthetics. The trees, the sky, the fish. The, the, the subway train, the tram that we took. It's all so cool looking. Like, look how cool this area is. I love PS1 aquatic games for some reason. It's like the right kind of polygon count for the ocean for me. <laughs> like, Alcodot's Holiday is really relaxing. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, elephant. This game is also really relaxing. Except for the occasional, like, seizure-inducing flashes. Like, I want to look around more, but it is actually kind of annoying to look around. <laughs> if only they invented the analog sticks earlier. Yeah. Hello there. We're glad to see you. Allow me to introduce you to my friend, Melkinso. How can I help? Shlopolo said you... I'd learn about hatching Laputa here. Yes, a task that requires the use of five special ores. Any rocks for this? Oh man, refractors from Mega Man Legends. Recently we tried to collect all five ores. And take them to the quiet Laputa nest. But before we could land, Takatsun's airships. The Takatsun forces want to use the ores to create a Megazo so powerful it sucks up all the magic from us magicians of Iblard. <gasps> I can't believe there's an evil force in this world. Triggered a rift in space time. Four ores landed safely in Iblard. But one, the low grade Synthesester, Synthester? Slipped through space and time and landed in your world. As for your plight, those ores trigger a similar rift when hatching a Lobuda. You get it? That rift should be able to send you home. Nah. Actually, we were hoping you could help us find the ores. With the Takatsun out there, we can't do it alone. Do you know where the ores have fallen? Ninya will know. You should visit her shop in the next town over. Is Ninya the woman I saw you two with? 
Yes. Now I'll lend you my airship. It's old, but it's reliable. I think its energy source is running low, though. I'll be off now. So we get an airship. Beware the Takatsun military's black airships, as they are armed with special synthester based shells. But well, it looks like a normal shell containing the ability or contains the ability to rob a human of energy. It was designed for riot control. Keeping this volatile design in mind, a synthester the synthester reaction could trigger a space-time distortion. Alright, so the airships the little flying ships can hurt us. That's that airship they promised. What's in the door? It blurred to Zaycab. Same. I mean, did you watch our Dr. Slump playthrough? You'll know what I. <laughs> Ariel says Acab multiple times in that game. Is this the airship? I guess I'll just fly this thing. I don't know what it does or how it works. It just smashes right into the building. <laughs> Next stop, Ninja Shop. Uh, I was wondering if I had like full control, but maybe because of the power source we don't have. But maybe eventually I'll be able to to go where I want to with the ship. <laughs> where in the world am I? Ninja Shop really here? Did the ship, like, go in our pocket? <laughs> uh, I can't read this, but it's got a crystal, and it goes in there, and then there's these, like, street lamps or something. Oh, that thing. Some kind of device. So I probably need a crystal or something. Oh, that's a street lamp. Shroom. But well, that happens if I hit this. Are you deadly? Yeah. Okay. I guess is I need the the device powered on so I can turn on the street lamps and get rid of these mushrooms. That's gonna be my guess. See, there's lots of lots of mushrooms here. Hmm, the map is down there. Okay, there is a way to get up. Gotta avoid these mushrooms. Oh, and a moonstone. Oh, that's where it goes. Okay, so we have a place to put a moonstone. White umbrellas bear no harm. Leap and you will venture far. Red umbrellas spew a gas that tires all from lad to lass. Red umbrellas quiver in light. Behold, the witch's shop is in sight. Okay. So the red umbrellas are these guys, and they they don't like light. And then the white ones we can use to bounce. Right? Maybe I have to come up from uh, above it. That would maybe get me back. Ah! Check our map. All right, so we are we started in the bottom right corner. There's another street lamp in the back left corner. Um, I 
I think this is the only path. Is there and here. Looked like there was something to collect over here. Oh, well. Okay, we have lots of dancing shrooms. More random stairs. Though these serve a purpose. Whoa. Oh, I, I goofed. Well. Okay, so we can get the moonstone. Banana. Oh, banana. Kong, Kong, Donkey Kong, burn. <laughs> I watched Eltriok play that game for the first time. Like, he had never seen that game. He didn't even know what the DK rap was. It was so funny to see someone come to that game, like, completely blind to it. Like, they, like, they didn't know what the DK rap was. They... Like, th there's something very um honest about that <laughs> i'll put my moon in here do you guys know that the uh donkey kong 64 was the first uh dream harrier stream the first crew stream okay bye mushrooms I guess I should follow them. I don't know where they went, but I s probably went... Ugh, I'm being bullied. Oh, they're in here now, aren't they? They came from a different area? I don't... Yeah, I don't remember there being one right down here. Ugh. So weird. Because you're never sure how much height you're going to get. Oh, maybe I have to go to that one. Yeah, I see it. How's everyone doing? You all relaxed? You all having a good Tuesday, a good uh, 2023 so far? Hmm, oh. that made my shot a little tougher. No, Stadler's not having it. I wonder if I could have got to that mushroom and then, like, gone above the house or something. Not over here. We might as well check this way. Or not. Anything? Okay, that's the switch for the lamp. <laughs> He's already done with it. Or Stadler. Yeah, I can um, could not have made it to that. I don't know what's happening now. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a front area. Well, you have to come back anyway, and go across the mushrooms. Uh, hello. <laughs> Evil mushroom. Oh, that looks like something I need. This tree is funny looking. You're gonna murder me, tree?
I took the power stone. Powerful. Y'all ever play Power Stone? I think you can play it now, like, on, on Fightcade. We should set up some matches. Because, uh, a, a Power Stone VTuber League. That'd be fun, actually. <laughs> Yoink. So now we should be able to murder. Yeah, that's the Dreamcast uh, 3D fighter from Capcom. You collect three power stones and you transform. Let's see what we have on the map. So straight ahead, there's another one. And then behind the building, and then that one. Okay. The second game also supports four players, but I don't think you do four players on like Fightcade. So the fourth game is a little more like crazier while the first game is kind of more of an actual fighting game. Like, they simplified it a little bit in the second game, but they made it, like, way more of, like... There's way more different items. Oh, they have awful death screens. I don't know why I'm turning this one on, but I will. I'll take this one. Music's really, really peaceful. All right. So there is a switch over there. Just gotta find a way to it. That'll work, I think. I don't know what light that was, uh... Oh, I probably could have came out of that with, um... Bouncing. That's okay. We bounce again. And it looks like it wants me to hit all the switches anyway. That was what that early picture mentioned. Take that. So did we get to the, the witch's house? It was like a cliff I couldn't access before in one of the areas. I guess that was maybe over here. Why, hello. How can I assist you? You're Nina, aren't you? It is. In a way, we've met before. No? How'd you get to Iblard? Well, uh, you see... 
Now I'm here. I see now. So if we can hatch a Lapida, you can return to your world. Actually, did you speak to Bergalad in the forest? Bergalad? Was he the guy covered in leaves? Yeah, that's Bergalad, all right. He's the wise man of the forest. If you speak with him, he has a wealth of knowledge to share. I couldn't understand his language. Hehe. <laughs> that would be a roadblock, wouldn't it? After all, you're not a magician like we are. May I see your map for a moment? I'll mark the locations of the ores we need. Thanks. I left a low-grade synthester we found in your world with a young man named Ki Nona. He too is a ma magician. He lives in the Nona family house on a nearby hill. Okay then, I'll visit Ki Nona's house next. I'll give you this too. That's an airship energy source. If your airship runs out of energy, keep a lookout for energy sources. Thank you very much. You and Kinona are what I'd call kindred spirits. Let's find the ores together. Let's pop my ship back there, I guess. Oh, I guess we're out. <laughs> no, I think that cliff just had health. I can't imagine it would have anything important. Next stop, the Nona Family Hill. No, 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 no. There's an idol master named No, no. No, no, Moody Kobo. Moody Kubo. Oh, I like this area a lot. Okay, bye. <laughs> this must be the hill that Nina mentioned. Does Ki Nona live here? It looks like there's a train that goes through the mountainside. That's kind of cool. And something flying. Are you one of the bad guys? It, I'm not making the noise like the bad guys did. <laughs> Don't want to, like, walk off the ledge, though. Alright, we'll deal with that later. Maybe. Let's check left first. Yeah, this, this part's pretty cool. Alright, that area is locked. I think you can make the hub go away too. Just have this atmosphere. I remember that I could turn it off because, you know, I gotta make thumbnails for the YouTube video. I took the guide map. Is that a crystal boomerang? Oh, thank you for the follow, Deeply Incognito. I hope you're enjoying the, the smooth vibes of Iblard. I swapped my wooden boomerang for this Synthester boomerang. Okay, so that's how I can kill the bad guys, I guess. Maybe it also goes further? So maybe I could hit this uh, flying robot or whatever. Maybe. Welcome aboard. We're just having a nice, relaxful time in Iblard. Well, I say relaxful, but... Ah, there they are. It's okay, I have a crystal boomerang. 
Yikes! A Tatsun ship. Okay. I thought it mentioned something about if the, the synthester attack hit the synthester it would create some kind of reaction, but maybe we're too far away. I gotta make a run for it. That's locked. I thought it fell off the ledge. Okay, they are moving around. I wonder if there is a, a chance to get them. Oh. oh! Hello. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Got him. Yeah, you don't want any of the smoke. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> boss defeated. I did not expect a boss fight. I didn't expect combat in this game. If you could call it combat, but... It's fun enough. I'm gonna get the Eye of Truth here. I took the square house key. Anything else in this house? There's no defeating Stadler. He's too powerful. So I assume that's the square house, because it's pretty square. But let's go ahead and just check what's over here first. No, okay. I can't believe they're weaponizing elephants. They're so cute, too. I have no idea if I can fall to my death. <laughs> That's why I'm like... Being cautious. There's my broom. I took the broom. Anything else in here? Man, this is so comfy. I'm coming for you, elephant. I don't want to murder elephant. How close do I have to be? I guess I have to get in range. the estimation mark on the health recovery it's like I did it I've recovered health are the Nona's here I see a hole in the floor maybe I'll take us to the little train these stairs look safe to descend as he throws himself off of, <laughs> down the stairs yeah, he's like hopping three stairs at a time he's gonna, he's gonna get hurt Never figured out what that flying robot was, but don't think that's for me to solve. 
nothing stands out. I mean, he... If this is the Kinona's place, then he's growing plants just like you. And you're both... You're both kindred spirits. It's a painting of this very hilltop. And he also has the book of... Laputa. This book. What is Grandfather's storybook doing here? Yeah. Hello. What brings you here? Sorry, are you Kinona? Nina sent me to speak with you. Ah, so you're helping her hatch the Laputa. Here, take the low-grade synthesizer she left with me. First, may I say something strange? You see, I can't shake this feeling that we've met before. Really? Maybe you can tell me about this book, then. I have a copy just like it. So I was surprised to see it here. Hmm. There's this old wives' tale. It says that, like a coin, there's another world uh, of the opposite side. Ooh, the subs kind of fall on each other there. If the two of us owning the same book is true, I wonder if that particular tale is true. Tell me, friend, what is your world like? It's very hectic. It's the opposite of Iblard. I see, then maybe we are two sides of the same coin. We found our other half. Oh, I know. Why not take that book with you? It might come in handy. Oh, and a key. I'll take a key. I took the roundhouse key. We're going to the roundhouse. Where'd my friend go? Oh. And my friend, I mean me. Otherworld me. Who's a magician with long hair. And paints. Must be nice. I like the first thing he describes that the, our world is just very hectic. <laughs> the opposite of this. So it's nice to escape that hectic world for a little bit and just... Just enjoy. So I can't tell if that robot has a yellow crystal or if that's just the bottom of the robot. Is there a place that gets really close? I don't think that... I don't think it's anything. It's just... it's just... the world. It's just world building. I like our crystal boomerang. <laughs> Okay, so now the the energy source for a flying car is basically the eg level exit. And so the rail passes. An airship energy source. I can fly with this. We have to learn how to speak to the flower guy. I already forgot his name. I, I feel bad. No, next stop, Updraft. Okay, so Updraft, um... That's in the... That was one of the pictures we posted. So I assume all these areas are just different paintings. Ah, yeah, here it is. Look at this area. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna jump us. Oh no!
Ooh. Hope there was airbags. It's like a nasty fall. Why are the ta uh, Takatsu acting so cruel? I have to find a flying stone. Where are we? Where are you? Oh! <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting jump pads. Or being able to stand on the roof. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to... As meteors gathered in this airspace, a peculiar updraft formed as well. A triangular ore appears to be its source of gravity. But who left that here? Take advantage of the updraft to fly from island to island. If you want to fly further, give yourself a running start. Okay. No. Any map in here? Okay, so that's where we started from. Let's go left. Oh, the map's there. Oh, <laughs> I can't move this. I have the power. Get out of my way, styrofoam rock. And there's a health crystal there. Okay, I don't know how helpful this is. Um, okay, so we're on the left one. So we started at the bottom. The top one has like two planet meteors next to it or whatever. So I guess we should go there and then the right path has a whole bunch of stuff, including a broom. Oh, sorry, I needed to. I need to real fix my uh, what's the word? Posture. Oh, we have the book of uh, yeah, we have the book of Iblard now. Iblardian ores and the hatching of Laputas. Laputa. What ore needed for Laputa hatching? Lapis lazuli, biome sea, high grade synthester, low grade synthester, and the flying stone. So we have the low grade synthester. We're in search of the flying stone here. Uh, I guess these are locations that we need to put things. Oops. Yeah, Rosie, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome aboard. We are exploring the world of. Of uh, Iblard, I am Snake Man, Captain of the Dream Harrier. The Cipher Stone. As his name implies, this ore grants magicians the ability to under understand and translate languages unknown. When used, bleh, 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 bleh. making thoughts and speech surprisingly simple, it's said to even work on lost languages of ancient races. A Solma Stone. A Solma is anything that projects the user's heart into an aerial image for all to see. This crystal is specifically designed to augment one's thought power, making Solma projection possible even for those without magical abilities. Alright, more awesome art. Oh, there's, uh, there's them. There's that trio. I guess we can't read this yet because we don't know the language. Maybe. So a decipher stone is what we also need to talk to that one dude. And then whatever this is. Oh, maybe this is the location of the ores, but it doesn't have the flying stone listed here. Maybe it's that torn off page. Okay. This is why I've learned those things can bonk me out of the air and they die. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's over here. It's 
So this only goes to those meteors. Can we... Can we go on those? As I lose my voice, asking. Hmm. I mean, you can. Maybe that's for a later puzzle. I'm assuming the other one's the same way. Though that looks like there's something in there. Yeah, there's like a piece of paper flying, but I don't think I can get it. We'll come back to that. I need to... Okay, <laughs> I probably need this bounce pad. There's an area down there. This will take me up here, but... What's down here? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, at least you don't... You, you don't even take damage on that. Am I back at the start? Yeah, okay. Interesting. It looked like I fell through that, so maybe I'm not supposed to be able to... ...to go over there yet. <laughs> maybe there's a way to flip that area. Since there's building on both sides. just so nice. Okay, we're up here. There's floor beneath us. Oh, painting. It's a painting of this very island. Ah, the bottom house has the broom. I'll get to it. I feel like that goes out to nowhere. Hmm. There's stuff over here, but no jump stones. Or whatever these things are. I'm standing in the wind jet. Let me go there. Wow, this one goes really high. Oh, okay, that goes back to there. That's probably my goal, but can't reach that. I guess I go back. Can't. Okay. <laughs> but I guess I. I didn't get get to that path yet. I 
I'm quite talented to open the map in midair. <laughs> Mid flight. How cool. Okay, we have a jump pad there with some health. Jump pad there. I think that goes to a new area. Yeah, that goes to these small islands. And then we have this. Okay, that turned that plant, uh, that island. What island is that? Oh, I wonder if that was the island with the, uh... Oh, excuse me. <laughs> with the two spheres. Yeah, that's what I turned. So I think now there's a way to get to each of these islands. This will flip this. I love the noise that makes. All right, so we can go back there and get the uh, the boomerang, or not the boomerang, the broom. In case there's any elephants. Any elephants nearby? Watch out. Whoops. Okay, I didn't quite make it. That might be in here. We have a bot. I got them. And I got a broom. I took the broom. Anything else? Okay, now we can go back on our path. Can I just make a running start to this? I didn't expect, um, oh. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. I didn't expect jumping puzzles. But they're very neat and they let you explore this cool world, so I'm happy. Okay. Boing. I wish there was like a really cartoon jumping spring noise or something. <laughs> we are just playing Quake over here. How do I get the rail? Ah! Okay, that jump pad's not powerful enough or do I need more of a running start? It was like, where do I get the rail gun? So I wonder if this path is still open. Did I turn this? Yeah, okay, so this still turned. Alright, that's where I turned it at, so I need to go over here. Felt like I barely made that one. Look at all the Yoshi eggs. I really 
look at sound design in this too. Like everything kind of. Okay, that's just some health. Uh. You don't really think about systems.com and sound design considering the other games, but. here. <laughs> that would suck if you got here without the broom. You'd have to wait for this platform to come back. Meanwhile, I don't know how much space there is that you can avoid him from draining you. Where are we going? I guess there. Jesus. <laughs> ah, ah. I think I'm not supposed to be up here. That's what we came here for. I took the flying stone, so we have our ore that we came here for. Now we just need some energy for our ship. Oh, I was gonna ask. I saw a, pla a podium here, but I didn't realize there was a, a moving platform. Maybe that wasn't here before until I got the other thing. <laughs> An airship energy source. I can fly with this. And off we go. That was a really cool area. They made that area really fun. God, this game is... A, a, I, I can't say enough that good things about it. Night Sky Market. Oh, that sounds cool. I, I saw the painting that was like... There's marketplaces, and the walls and the doors disappear if they sense that you want to leave. <laughs> so I'm hoping for some really fun mazes or something. And yeah, this is one of the paintings. I guess, like I said, they're all the paintings. I just haven't explored enough of them. There should be a high-grade synthesizer here, but... Okay, so we have... A banana. That's probably our main goal. I don't think these are doors, but might as well get them out of the way and try. We do need health finally. I haven't been that low since I got bullied by uh, bats. There's little zeppelins flying around. It's so nice. There's a map. Oh, apples. I mean, whatever these flying glowy things are. Oh, the dinosaur! Oh, I can't interact with this one, but he's here. The, the picture. There's only so much you can do with, like, the 32-bit generation of 3D, but, man, they... They really pushed what they could, huh? Took the guide map. Alright. So, we started with the moon symbol. There's at least... a shop with a broom. There's two of them, I guess. Three of them, sorry. Um, 
as well as the... It looks like our flying ship, so maybe that's where the energy source is. Oh, I went backwards. Just take it in. There should be some shops around here that we can actually go in. Airship! Oh, did we move this building? Oh, we summoned an airship. I wonder if that's how you get to those outer areas. Is this a puzzle solution? Red Saturn, well, red ring Saturn, blue ring Saturn, yellow ring Saturn. Broom Bros! Get your broom right here! I took the broom. It's interesting that there's multiple broom spots. This is the other thing, right? It's open. Oh! Oh! Where is it? Where is it? Who's Who's got him? Oh, you're right there. Get out of here. Okay. One broom won't cut it. Wow, I'm still getting hit from here. <laughs> I wonder what the order is. Red, blue, yellow, or yellow, blue, red? Mm. I'll get that health after I solve this elephant issue. Are all the brooms again? Because I already got the one... Okay, I got the one that's in the bottom left corner. So I need to get the upper right and the upper left. I'll take this. I guess I need this broom as well. I have a broom. You can have more than one broom, my man. Yeah, Broom Bros, they have three shops in the same, like, street. That's crazy. Competing against yourself. Drain surprisingly fast. I took the broom. The thing is, there's supposed to be another elephant. But I kind of need this, right? Because this is like a puzzle. What's he doing by himself? Tending to those flowers, like always, why don't we invite him to hang out? I don't see that working. He already turned us down before. Sorry, I have to water my flowers today. He hasn't changed. You don't say. Eh, you can't win them all. Speaking of, did you see today's game? It was awesome, right? What a team. Aww. We're a little ostracized. You're such a gentle young man. 
But you know, gentleness isn't always enough. You need to be a little more assertive. How can I? Return to the forest and speak to Burgalad. He will give you the extra push you need. I can't understand him. You'll need to use the Cypher Stone to speak with him. A Cypher Stone from where? Nina, wait! I gotta talk to my buddy, the Burger Lad. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. What's going on now? And then I took damage from the elephant that was gone. Okay. How do we, how do we? Oh, okay. Oh, maybe. No, I, I don't know. What are we doing? Oh, I just have these now. I took the three planets. Okay. Let me get this health. You ever know when another elephant will spawn? Use these here. Maybe in the airship thing? It's a model of an airship. Hmm. I feel like this is important, but maybe it is just a puzzle solution the red, blue, yellow. So we got the planets. I used up all my brooms, right? So I wonder what that shop is that has the elephant. I guess we should go look. the broom store then uh, okay I see where it got okay. I thought there'd be a road here but there's there isn't you just gotta climb up the curb no wait that that took me back play more random ps1 like crazy ps1 games <laughs> so i do want to play blue that's something i want to play i've been wanting to play it since last year when we did the uh actually two years ago we did that aquatic um stream what oh hello Let's go. Okay, there's a moonstone, and then there's these blocks. The blocks correspond to the the plants I got, except for green. I can't move the moon rock now. Hmm, I'm missing a planet then. I 
Oh, maybe this is all we need. Oh no! I don't have a broom. Maybe I don't have the solution for this. Maybe that's what it was trying to tell me. You have to go find Burger Lad. Where does he pop up? Or is he gone? I'm confused. Okay, I see, I see. You don't match these. These are the backgrounds. Okay. Because the picture did have backgrounds. I thought it was like an order thing. I was reading it differently than they intended and the elephant was just my punishment. Silly me. I'll probably ask you guys, chat. You guys probably remember the solution, right? That's okay. I'm, I'm walking back. I just took the long way. Okay, so red goes on the yellow, blue is on the red, and yellow is on the blue. Let me just make a little note. Oh. So what was it? It was blue planet. Oh, I'm sorry, blue planet. Um, red. Now oh, this paper is not very good. Uh, yellow planet. Um, blue. And red planet on yellow. Okay. I'll keep the pen out just in case. This is why I learned I went backwards. No, I did it correct. It's the same there was a painting in here that I missed. Try not to get crushed. <laughs> I like this room. Get lost in it. Okay. So what do you got? I got... Um, yellow plant goes here. Blue planet goes here. Finally, Red Planet. Oh, banana. I'll be taking that. I took the Moonstone. So I wonder if we are... Yeah, the upper left-hand corner, this is the puzzle area. The upper right just probably represents the, uh... 
I don't know what it represents. Probably that, that black hallway that we used to get here. I don't know. Or maybe the door we need to check in the side alley. Go, 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 go. No! <laughs> My cycles. Speed runs canceled. My kid, I'm taking this nice and chill. Are there some PS1 games you guys are excited for me to get to? Like, I want to do Blue, I want to do Diver's Dream. Uh, they'll probably be like back to back so I could compare diving games. Konami versus Hudson. Um, not PS1, but I'd like to get to the PS2 Everblue series. And then, um... What is it? Endless Ocean. As well as Aquanauts Holiday for PS3. I do have a little, like, notepad I made that, um, has all the... All my plans for next year. For this year. I will take this hourglass. I took the Decipher Stone. So now I should be able to speak to Burger Lad, my friend. Okay, yeah, this is a whole new alley. There's Hulf in the tree. Uh, the Refractor from Mega Man Legends is here. And I took the high-grade Synthester. And it got lost. Lost in my own thoughts. Or lost in this tie-dye world. Oh, this forest. I've been here before. Sorry, I got a text message. Oh, so that's what this altar just- this altar is just like a teleportation place. So I might get an item that might take me somewhere completely different. Gotta go find Burgalad. I forget where Burgalad was. I don't have the map anymore. <laughs> Oh, the bats are back. I guess this puzzle isn't solved either, so maybe I don't have to. Maybe it's just go straight. Come on, I killed the whole battle, sh or whole like flying hovercraft thing. I can hit some bats, right? Yeah, we could probably just. I can outrun some bats. Boars are gonna show up too, right? Oh, that's weird. This is set up already. I do have to solve that puzzle again. And by solve that puzzle, I mean hit some switches while a turtle bullies me. Yeah, the boars are gone, though.
catch you. Oh, there's two turtles now. Yeah, that's what I thought happened, but I was too busy getting knocked around by a turtle to notice. Yeah, it was to this direction, because the other direction is just the fish heads. Now I remember. We're glad we're coming. Oh, I love the noise you make. something for me. I took the biome seed. I guess I just wasn't in the right spot. Ah, oh, it's you. The cipher stone may help here. You seem tougher now. Yeah, I've leveled up. I got a crystal boomerang and I've killed. <laughs> How goes your adventure in Iblard? Oh, I'll take a drink once this conversation's over. I keep brushing off the Megazo, but they won't go away. You can't brush off the Megazo. They're incarnations of self-doubt. Then how do I stop them? Simple, open your heart to them. There you go, Cameron, open your heart. What? But self-doubt is bad. It's bad to have self-doubt, right? Not always. A Megazo is more like a mirror. A Megazo only reflects your heart, so you can face your true self. My true self? Now hurry! The Laputa will emerge soon. Is he gonna fix this thing? Open your heart. <laughs> 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 I know it's a one way track. We'll see how long this will last. <laughs> now you'd best be off. Okay. Thank you, friend. <laughs> I need a rail pass. Here, you can use this. I took the real pass. Yeah, we're we're we only missing one of the MacGuffins now. I wonder how long this game is. Next stop, the Laputa Nest. We might be almost done. Though we are missing a MacGuffin. But that is where they go to uh, create the floating islands. Oh right, the drink.
Thank you, Cameron. So we're in a room. <laughs> Bye. We got a purple stone. I took the round Terra model. Mop it's a Terra model. Oh, maybe we have to build it. We have to build a model of it. I took the angular Lapita Terra model. Alright, there's another banana symbol. And some kind of puzzle here. Oh, this is where you put all the things. Yeah, so let's not worry about that till we have all the all the things. I guess we should check this door first. What are you? Oh, that's the map. <laughs> it looked like an enemy from the side. I was scared. It looked like some kind of crazy burrito was going to attack us. I was like, no. <laughs> Get away. Alright, so that's the moon chamber in the bottom left. Uh, we're in the upper left with the house. There's not a whole lot going on in here. Maybe we'll meet our friends again. Oh, there's the banana. A little overripe, right, I guess. Where's this door go? I cannot proceed. So should we go back to the Moonstone? Because that had like... I assume it had what we need to solve the puzzle. There's a red table here. Like a, a rainbow-legged table here. We have health. Okay, so that's where those things go. Wait, what was it? Yeah. I guess I'll put those in. Plop. That's the first step. Chat, this is how you make a floating island. Okay, I think I gotta go back to the Moonstone area now. Just go ahead and do that. Copy my moves and you too can uh, get under par. <laughs> I don't know. What would Stadler say about this? We'll never know. I can see you're going to be a difficult opponent. <laughs> Stadler's always ready. He's always ready for healthy competition. Thank you, Glaze. Okay. these stones. Now the book. It's a little worn. And also it doesn't... Hmm. It's 
so I mean the purple goes there the the green is in the middle um, Yeah, we still haven't found the Solma Stone thing yet. But maybe that's just a red herring, this Chaos Emerald. Um... So I have the Jump Stone. I have the Purple Stone. The Biome Seed, so I know where that goes. The Refractor, I don't know which Refractor goes in that spot. Because the page is missing, or it's torn. And... The colors missing. Hmm. What happens if I. No, nothing. Okay, let's check these things then. Meow. I see. So the upper right is the is one of the refractors I don't know which one though we already know where the two pyramids go that goes in the center by process of elimination this one goes in the bottom right yeah we already know where that goes and then the other refractor is the upper left. We just don't know which refractor is which. Also, we don't have everything. There's nothing in this room, right? Huh. Let me look at the refractor spots again, because I thought it looked like it was blue when I hit that one. Behind it? Is this red? Or is this like PS1 graphics being graphics? Yeah, I think it was just PS1 graphics being graphics. So I'm gonna have to do a little trial and error there. Um, hopefully just putting that one seed down is enough. To get me started? Are you a giant elephant in the skies of a boulder? You have to tell me if you're a giant elephant. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go put that crystal down and then... I have a 50-50 chance at best. Refractor. Finally, the flying stone. The double pyramid I don't have. But maybe our friends do. Oh! There he is. There's a giant elephant. We fucking died. I guess since we're here on the main menu, we can drop a save. <laughs> Just in case. You never know when things are gonna go bad. Now saving.
So did I make it incorrectly? The only thing I don't know is the uh, the the refractors, which maybe that was my self doubt. Maybe I don't have everything. Maybe I was supposed to um, touch everything in the moon room. I guess I'm dead now. Oh, yeah, their first death. Just instant death. <laughs> we accidentally made a giant elephant that murdered everyone. Or at least sapped their will to live. Maybe there's more in this area than I thought there might be. No. There's a door we can't get past. That's just health. Their banana again. Yeah. Okay, this time we're gonna, when we go into the moon room, we will check every stone. I guess while we're here, we'll drop off the other stones. Put the round one here. And then you put the angular one here. Because maybe there's enough information in that room. Maybe that's just my self-doubt that I need to defeat. The game is like... Telling me something, man. Right, I'm gonna tap them all this time. So, maybe there's a difference in the refractors besides the color? Can I find out from here? So the first one went in here. So I did it red-blue, like uh, red in the left corner and blue in the right corner. So I'm gonna do blue-red, but I'm just curious if there's anything that tells me that. And also I don't have this. It seems confused. Darn, it's broken. I mean, that's the one that goes in the center based on the the book. Yeah, we know the jump stone is in the bottom right. That's you. We know the biome seed is in the bottom left. <laughs> Darn, it's broken. So I guess you need a combination of the book and this to tell you where everything goes. Which makes sense. So maybe the book is trying to lie to us. We mustn't create a giant elephant this time. I 
Let's start with the ones we know. Is there an order to it? Well, if there is, we can't do it. Like, I'm thinking back to that moon room. If you read it left to right, there's an order, but I don't have the lapis lazuli. Right? Okay, we're gonna put our biome. Oh yeah, when I put the red one down, the, the thing flashed red, so I think it did know I, I'd done it wrong. I wonder if there was a way I could have fixed that before the game over. Oh no, that one went red too. Maybe that's just what it does. So now we're gonna do blue here. I think this is a different animation. <laughs> okay, now the middle piece, which we don't have. It's me. I am the middle piece. No, it's too deep. <laughs> Let's go back to that door, I guess. Oh, are those our friends? It's Nina's airship. She might have the last piece. Wait. The game refuses to like render them in the world. <laughs> You're back so soon. Forgive us for our slow pace. The Tatsu aren't letting up, that's for sure. This is bad. The egg is far too unstable. We must hatch it soon. But we need the Lapis Lazuli from the airport down the way. Understood, I'll go get it. Do be careful. How's the airship faring out there? It works, but it needs a new energy source. I thought you'd say that. Here, use this. Yay! Alright, I'm heading out. To the airship, the airport. I hope nothing bad happens leaving this half, like, completed island. Oh no, they're on our tail. Can we play the Fifth Element PS1 game? Oh my god, is there like a villain? Oh, they're just soldiers. Now approaching the ancient airport. I mean, that guy looks important. We won't let some child beat us to the Lapis Lazuli. That was a weird frame. Next next stop, the patrol tower. I like our path. I mean like a whale. Everything goes back to that whale. Whenever the whale is not on screen, you should ask, where's the whale? Oh, this looks like a small map. We're gonna put a boss fight again. Oh no, my little, my little airship. Throw your magic boomerang. It's the only way. Oh, we're dead.
We have to remember what the the flower man told us. Oh, another successful landing. I see. Guess that does it. Okay. Where are we? There's health here. Some water. Big old plant. Take a look at this fern. Ooh, map. All right, what we got to work with? Um, well, I haven't found anything that's like a a landmark, so I have no idea where that is. Let's see what's down here. <laughs> ah, here is the what it looks like a flying machine or a dragonfly. I can fly this as a floating island once I find an emergency or uh, energy source. All right, so that's our way out. Oh, I love it. It's got little legs. It's a little Opa Opa. <laughs> Opa Opa Dragonfly. All right, so from the Dragonfly. It looks like a mountain maybe over there and then two buildings. So we should check the buildings first if I had to guess. I like the music here. Okay, let's go see what's over here first. There's stuff on the floor. Like fireworks? Dynamite? Took the firework. And this is a thing to shoot fireworks. Do I need to shoot that? Hello again, farmsteads. I don't have a lighter, though. Or a source of fire. Go, boomerang. <laughs> Let's go check the cave, I guess. We created a giant elephant that killed us. Alright, there's just health here. I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, watch out for that. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like purposely made so you don't know which refractor uh, goes in those spots. Just so that you, you do that once. And then the guy said, you know, it's just, you gotta watch out for self-doubt. But it's not bad. Be free, my fish. What is this place? Oh, we got matches. I took the match, the one match. That was clearly a box of them. Oh, and there's our energy source, I think. Just out here. I took the aircraft's energy source. I love this area. Oh, I was gonna look at the cool rock and then combat time happened. It's those persistent Takatsun ships again. Uh. <laughs> K 
combat. This game was not made for combat. <laughs> Got him. Oh, I stopped the ship, but broke my boomerang. Oh well. No, oh, my boomerang. Is there health here? Where's the health? There it is. My crystal boomerang. I cannot stop time anymore. Yeah, I like the swirling area here. RIP combat. <laughs> Uh, this is probably what I need for the the firework. Don't mind me. Wait, I went the wrong way, didn't I? <laughs> Hold on, I'm coming. Hold your horses. <laughs> I got turned around because that cutscene. Can I get you the... Oh. I wonder if I need to aim, or... I'm gonna just shoot it. No self-doubt. See? It all works out. I'm losing my voice a lot today. We're blasting off again. Or not. Oh, maybe they landed somewhere I can actually check on. Yeah, because they probably have the last thing. Yeah, no fear. That also explains this area. Gargle, gargle. Where's that groan coming from? Probably right here. Why'd you turn me away from it? Hello? Where's drugs? <laughs> I love that guy. From uh, Mystery Hospital. <laughs> that was impressive. I admire your courage, young one. Here, take this. Oh, he had... Oh, that's that thing. It should be of use to you. It's the Master Emerald. I'll spare your life for today. But know this. By letting you go is by no means a surrender. You're just mad because I broke your ship. I got data! I took the Solma Stone. So the Solma Stone... is the thing that projects our... A Soma Stone... A Soma is anything that projects the user's heart into an aerial image for all to see. This crystal is specifically designed to augment one's thoughts. Power. Or one thought power. Making Soma projection po possible even for those without magical abilities. So I wonder if I needed that to... Um... Make the island not an awful elephant? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, because uh, you, maybe you could have ran away from this. Like, maybe you could have just ran to the ship. Which I keep accidentally getting lost in this maze. Um, now, if you did that, you wouldn't have the Solma Stone, and then... I don't know.
What do you think, farmsteads? <laughs> Giant dragonfly time. Just shove that right in there. We both have we as a character we have never been here before and we we know how to fly two different flying machines. As well as how to in, insert energy into them. We're pretty good. We're pretty talented. <laughs> Maybe. What's a Japanese adventure game without a soft lock? Well, I'll take this. And we're off. As we head back to the nest. What a great game. I mean, it's not over yet, but I'm going to say I'm call early. Great game. <laughs> oh, God, how do you fly this thing? <laughs> I never learned. Hold on, I see a broom. The Megazo reflect the heart. Open your heart. Is that Burgalad? Where's my boy Burgalad at? Uh, we can check the house, I guess, just to see if uh, our friends are there. Hmm? What was that cry? I'll take the map again, I guess. This won't work. I have to hatch the thing quickly. Who's crying? Someone crying in the cave? Please not sully the name of Burger Lad. I can still hear the cry. I'll let you take the banana again. Are you trapped behind this? Oh, that's weird I let you check this again. Where's this one go? It's the center, but we knew that. Dinosaur! Hey. <laughs> Did he come to see me off? Is this the save the animals percent? You come come with me? You come into my world? I get to keep you? Okay. I want to know if he's following me. for them to eat a uh, watermelon. I don't have anything to give you, my friend. That's up a big hug. 
Okay. Save the animal percent. I hope he comes with me. Are you coming? He's wanting one last goodbye. Okay, I guess I'll go do the thing. Oh no, the awful flashing. Get out of here. Where's that health go? Just in case. Maybe I was not supposed to kill that one. Maybe that was like the... Hey, that's your self-doubt and it's okay. You're okay with it. No, these are my self-doubts. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not afraid. Uh. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I die. I died. <laughs> I guess I guess my health is being drained during that animation. Alright, maybe we tried the Soma Stone. I wasn't afraid. I showed no fear. And I was punished. Yeah, they put that guy there to make you go get this uh, broom, and then you start hearing the... A little like happy. Maybe the dinosaur is the key to everything. They reflect the heart, and the the big stone. Also, is that burger lad? I gotta go get my friend. He's gonna open my heart. Did he come to see me off? Just talked to him multiple times. It's a, a Japanese adventure game. <laughs> Maybe it's just a cute little thing. Just like a little extra. I guess I will try the, the other stone. I assume I gotta kill this guy first. Probably wanna go in with everything I got. Mm, I could fully heal. There's health in there. It's like one little pip, though, that I'm missing, but I don't know, everything helps, right? Gotta go in full tank of gas. There's, they're still gone, right? I can't. All right, I assume the solution is the Solma Stone. I'll pop it right when I get in there, I guess. Uh... Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> well, alright. Maybe I summon them and then go back to my dinosaur friend? It wasn't letting me use the stone. And then last time I tried to put the other stone, I died. So what is the missing? Maybe I'm supposed to use the stone on the first one because it's... Yeah, because I get that message when I pick up the broom. So maybe it's like, don't use the broom. That's probably it. So like using the broom is like the first is the fail state. The burger lad spoke. He said to open your heart. My heart is my dinosaur friend. Like I, I tried using the stone on him. <laughs> it doesn't seem to work. Alright, let's try using the stone when the uh, the first one appears. Maybe that's what I need to to cast all of my self doubt away, like the pepperoni away, away with the pepperoni. Okay, that was it. Don't be nervous, or you won't be able to play your best. Sadler knew the, the solution. Sadler knows everything. Oh, are we hugging? Oh, we're becoming, becoming one with the Megazo. <laughs> we gave it a big hug. And it evaporated. We became okay with our self-doubt. And all our friends are here. I like the frog guy. <laughs> the mole's good too, don't get me wrong. And then lady, and then alternate world us. With long hair. Oh, uh, if they were female, it would have been like the perfect like trans allegory. But you know, this is a PS1 game. It made in Japan. We're, they weren't there yet. I guess this is it. We did it. We made the floating island. Oh, it's just gone. It zooms. That's the floating island. <laughs> the other thing that was flying around was just... I don't know, the egg? Oh, I see, and it makes a whole bunch of this ore. And then that that's what creates the time. Oh, that's one of the art pieces. Is that the Laputa shell? Yes, it is. This is great. You can use it to enter the rift. I guess it means goodbye. No. We will surely meet again someday. Maybe I'll meet her other half. The... the... 
the version of her that exists in my world. So long, take kid, take care. I didn't bring the dinosaur with me. that we traveled through time and space hopefully back to our world a dull boring hectic place oh but I brought some uh brought some of Laputa back with me Brought some of Iblard with me. And then the vines choked everyone in the apartments to death. The power of the Laputa shell was stronger than I ever imagined. It allowed me to grow plants finally. Not only did it revitalize my house plants, it revitalized my entire world. Yay, we did it! This is a good game. <laughs> GG's. I hope I didn't miss anything by not going back to talk to the dinosaur again. I think I was just like a little like, hey, the dinosaur's here. We have to do it for the dinosaur. For us. Who dares? Don't they know... And you have a cool plane. Though, like, every other ship was like, you go to one place and you need another energy source. <laughs> so they're not very fuel efficient, but maybe that plane's different. Actually, yeah, that plane is different because we flew back and... We flew to multiple places in that plane. It was fine, so... Maybe that's just ours. I just show up at that those the kids' party. Be like, yo, what's up? Who wants a ride in my fantastical airplane? This is just like Goku in Dragon Ball... Um, what, what was the live-action movie called? I actually already forgot. <laughs> it's nothing like that. <laughs> Cute and good game. Exactly. And yeah, maybe this is some Satcom's best. I gotta, I have a soft spot for Lunacy, and I need to stream that now that we have the Fenrir. Even though, I might not work with the Fenrir. It might be one of those games that you have to be able to swap the discs, and the Fenrir does not have disc swapping yet. Only for games that save during disc swap. So we have to figure that out. Uh, so System Satcom, they were famous for Mansion of the Hidden Souls on the Sega CD, uh, the Mansion of the Hidden Souls on Saturn, Lunacy on Saturn, R question mark MJ, the Mystery Hospital for Saturn and PS1, as well as um, the Dracula Detective. I think there's two Dracula Detectives that they made. All these games that I'm mentioning, they're they are first-person Japanese adventure puzzle games, uh, but they're not like an, a world like this. You know, there's, they're they're all done in FMV. You kind of like go between the FMV. You know, you hit up and it plays an FMV of you traveling up to the next area. That kind of game. Um, I don't know if many other games Systems.com worked on that was like this. They made a, a racing game called Runners High. Congratulations! Oh, this <laughs> this could use the uh, the Smash Brothers announcer. Congratulations! <laughs> I guess, guess that was it.
Yeah, so this title screen, this is uh, Updraft, which was the area of all the jump puzzles. Oh, man. <laughs> what a good game. I gotta give special thanks to Cargodin and Esper Knight for translating and hacking. Um, there's a few other names, but you know, I, I, it's hard to remember everyone. I'm sorry. And they didn't have tran uh, translator credits here. Yeah, let's play the intro video again. Just to look at more of the artwork. Yeah, there's the market. And there's the, the dragonfly ship. All right. I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you all for joining me on this fun now adventure. Now I'm gonna show you a real professional shot. Get out. Ah, that guy. Now I'll show you. Yeah, this was an amazing little fun PS1 game, and I'm glad it was translated. It, It's just so different and pretty, and I enjoyed it a lot. So that was today, that's Tuesday. Tomorrow we're gonna play something new. As someone that doesn't like Boost Sonic or open world games... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, 6-6. Uh, six, six. It'll always be the VOD. <laughs> yeah, we were able to get through Iblard in like three and a half hours. But yeah, check out Iblard yourself. It's also, it's just so good. All right, so Wednesday, Sonic Frontiers, a new game, not retro. I know, it's, it's scary. Uh, Friday, I continue Bomberman Hero. We got through like two of the planets, 100% uh, of the first planet. So. We'll see how that goes. There'll probably be that stream and then another stream. Alan Wake. Uh, the crew is getting back together. So if you like the crew IRL, IRL stream, you want to see me in person with my friends, that'll be Saturday night. Um, I think John is taking the lead on that. He's never played Alan Wake before. And I believe they're playing the, the new or newer HD versions or whatever. I, I'm not up on mobile games. And then Sunday, the, the chill Sunday vibe stream went so well last week. I want to do it again. I don't really have a plan. That's the whole point of those streams is I just come it up, come up, come up with it as it happens. Maybe I take requests like last week where I played uh, Tenjin Shinobi. Hack. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was me taking a big yawn. But it looked like my face was pogging the whole time. Where are we going? Who wants the raid? I have so many messages on Discord. Everyone wants some. Let's see. Let's see. Ricky is playing Guilty Gear Strive. The opponent is playing Ease. Three, it looks like. Chubo playing more plug and play handhelds. That We might go there. Uh, Ilya is playing Devil May Cry. Clavio is going to play Legend of Zelda. NK game playing more Chrono Trigger. Author Blue is playing Play Up. Let's go to Chubo, he just started. He's also kind of now a pink tuber occasionally. Uh, raid, raid, raid. 
So yeah, go say hi to Chubo. He has wonderful cats, and he plays some grotty games, and I love grotty games. C64, uh, Amiga. The grottier, the better. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.